I thought I wanted to be a boxer when I was about eight years old. Now I didn't know what I wanted to do and it took me quite a long time to, to work that out. Uh, uh, I left school without very great qualifications, uh, became a post lady for five years delivering mail and, and in that time I realised that what I would really like to do was to work with young people uh, and to support young people. So I began to train as a youth worker. I was painfully shy as a little girl. I often say I wish I had been a member of the Girl Guides because if I'd have joined as a child, I would have found my confidence much earlier. Girl Guiding was established because girls and young women spoke up and said, hold on, what about us? We want something for us. And at the time, it was um, helping girls and young women to do things that simply weren't things that girls were supposed to do back then, you know, exercise and swimming and riding bicycles and learning about, um, you know, careers and opportunities. We've been doing that for over a hundred years and, and it was a very radical thing a hundred years ago. So actually, I'm not saying that I've made Girl Guiding Feminist, I'm saying it always was and actually it was a great example of feminism over a hundred years ago. We do a lot to support girls to understand that they can have any career that they choose and to challenge some of the stereotypes around what are boys' roles and what are girls' roles and what jobs might you aspire to in the future. And we also um, have badges around things like um, Free Being Me, which focuses on body confidence and teaching girls and young women um, that actually what matters is what's going on inside their hearts and inside their heads rather than what they look like on the outside uh, and helps girls and young women to understand that um, actually a lot of the very negative, unhelpful media images of girls and young women are, in, are not correct um, and much of that is airbrushed. The media representation of women is something that we hear about quite, of, quite a lot from our girls and young women um, and it has a very big impact on their lives and really influences and affects how they feel about themselves because of the imagery that they see about women and either it's imagery which is very sexualised and objectified such as page three um, or it's seeing women that are in professional roles, such as members of parliament, but who the media decides to talk about what shoes she's wearing, rather than actually what she's doing as a member of parliament. For the last seven years, we've been doing something called the Girls Attitude Survey, which is the largest survey of girls and young women in the UK. And we survey girls both within guiding, but also from outside of guiding. So it's representative of the whole um, girl population. So it's a really, very helpful piece of work that we do each year which helps us to understand what matters to young women so that we can then think about how we might be able to support them with that. Girl Guiding is half a million young people. That is a very, very powerful um, voice together. And I think that the more that we work with our young people in society to say to them, think really hard about issues that affect your life. Work out what you think about that because it's entirely about what you think, not anyone else telling you what to think and then have the confidence to speak out. And the more that we can encourage young people to do that, I think the more that we can see changes in society as we progress.